Hello everyone, it's Helder here. Uh, today I wanted to go ahead and review this uh, Uberleben Zunden Firestarter. Uh, that's pretty much the last time I'm going to try to attempt to pronounce that name uh, during this review. But uh, from what I understand, it roughly uh, translates from German into survival, or let's say the company name, and then the Zunden part would be uh, fire or fire starter. Uh, what's cool about this is uh, this is a relatively uh, new company. I think they were uh, founded in 2016, which is this year. And uh, they're basically bringing back a little bit of the flair of, uh, let's say, uh, bushcraft and using uh, these whittled, uh, let's say, uh, wooden handles. And it uh, just feels good, just feels right, uh, just feels uh, pretty natural. So I kind of dig uh, this ferris rod right from the beginning. So basically what we have is we have this ferro rod here. And we have a piece of steel. Uh, what's cool about the little uh, inclusion that they have here, it has a little bit of a ruler, it has a uh, bottle opener, has uh, somewhat of a little hex configuration here that I'm sure you can use for something. Uh, a little bit of, uh, of a scraper here at the end that you can use for all sorts of stuff, uh, either wood or even uh, roughing up your tinder to be able to uh, catch the spark a little bit better. So what this ends up coming with is it comes with the actual rod, comes with a uh, lanyard, that I'll probably end up replacing with uh, 550 cord as usual. And it comes with the uh, piece of uh, steel that we went over with uh, before. And what I want you to think about also is when this does come straight from the manufacturer, there is uh, some type of lacquer or uh, paint that's on here that we wanna go ahead and scrape off so that it starts to uh, expose the actual ferro rod that's underneath. You can tell uh, as that silver part starts coming up. So you wanna make sure that you go ahead and do that. Um, you know, that way it'll make it much easier to, uh, to get to the actual source to uh, be able to create that spark. So really what the idea is here is that we want to take this piece of steel, we want to go ahead and scrape across this ferro rod, and what ends up happening is we're sending pieces of this spark onto our tinder that we want to catch on fire to maintain that little flame or even amber so that we could go ahead and get our fire started. So right now I'm actually in my backyard, I'm in my little fire pit here, and it's something that I suggest uh, to our natural training center members. Uh, we live in cities, so instead of having an excuse and saying, well, I can't really build an open fire in the local parks or in the city parks or anything like that, so I can't practice my fire building, well, get yourself an inexpensive or build yourself an inexpensive fire pit, put it in your backyard, and you're able to practice these type of skills. And then when it's called upon, either recreationally while you're at camp and need to do this, or in an emergency situation, you're going to bode much better because you have the experience. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, demonstrate a few of these uh, applications. I'm using something like charred cloth or uh, some kind of a press board fire starter or whatever that kind of gets an amber that you need to blow on and add air uh, to then go ahead and be able to catch your bird's nest or whatever. I'm going to sit there and I'm probably just going to use smaller strokes, okay? I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, but just using smaller, just sitting here, right, sending these type of sparks right onto there. All right, because that way I'm going to have much more success of lighting that as opposed to throwing it, okay? Now I can also throw these type of sparks, okay? But now I'd probably use that more so when I'm going ahead and starting, um, let's say, uh, my cotton balls that are soaked in uh, petroleum jelly. All right, something like that that I know that as long as one of these sparks uh, catch it, it'll sustain, it'll give me a flame, and give me a little bit more time to be able to work with it. Uh, so what I, the comparison that I think about when, when, uh, when I'm working this way, let's say, is I think of a shotgun and I think of the choke on a shotgun. If we're just shooting and we want to get, let's say, more targeted and we have a slug in there, uh, we're going to get that smaller diameter. If we open up that chuck, uh, choke and put some bird shot in there, you're going to get that spray, right, where all these little pellets end up going out and you're hoping that one of those pellets strike your target so that you accomplish the mission. Very similar to what we're doing here. Up here, I'm sending that... Uh, the uh, bird shot, so to speak, right? And just uh, kind of sending it from up above. When I'm down here, more targeted, right? Working on the actual um, slug part, as far as that analogy goes. So hopefully that makes sense. This fire starter actually came with some of this uh, jute twine, uh, which is a great little uh, fire starter also. So I'm gonna go ahead just for the demonstration purposes and uh, break some of this up, and we'll go ahead and see if we could uh, get a spark to catch it on uh, fire. All right, it's windy and actually wet. That's why I actually put this uh, masonry stone in here to uh, create the bottom that's uh, soaked and keep it a little bit separated. But now the wind, of course, is messing with me. But you can see I went ahead and opened up this twine 
almost looks like strands of hair now. So it's nice and open up, bigger surface to be able to catch a spark, and at the same time uh, for the oxygen to be able to uh, do its thing while it's in there. You can tell not much, right? One little spark, everything burned right up, even with the wind blowing on it, right? So all gone, but you can tell how quick that actually went, right? So something else you want to take into account. Uh, but practicing this type of stuff is going to let you know, okay, well, I know what this tinder is going to do for me or this fire starter is going to do for me. So that's how you're going to address your fire building. But once again, this is a demo, not a tutorial, so I don't want to get into too much detail. So let's go ahead and try a different fire starter. Now, one of the fire starters that I uh, keep in, uh, as far as source, right, to get my tinder started are uh, cotton balls soaked in petroleum jelly. Uh, they're definitely a favorite with the uh, Natural Training Center members. And, you know, even if the weather, if it's damp, if it's wet, uh, any of that stuff, it still votes very well and gives you a lasting flame. Uh, so it's very forgiving. So it's definitely something that I like to keep. I keep this little fire starter kit with all sorts of stuff in here. Uh, the petroleum jelly, keep them in a little Ziploc. That way they're always with me. And I want to go ahead. Now here is where I'm going to shoot, let's say, uh, the birdshot analogy, right? So I'm going to go a little bit and I'm actually sending those sparks so that one of them will go ahead and... Uh, uh, hopefully catch. Let's give that a shot. So there we go. Hopefully you can see the flame going. Now look how much longer that's going, right, than what we actually had going with the twine. And that's going to give us some time to go ahead and catch this little bird nest. Uh, sorry for the uh, purpose of this demonstration. I know it's sloppy, but uh, I'm looking through a camera, so it gets to be a little bit of a pain. But you get the, uh, the gist of it, right? Um, beauty about these... Uh, Feral rod and combining them with the right fire starters. Uh, even with this windy, windy day, you could tell it's still going, not adding anything, and the fire starter is still really what's uh, ignited. So I'll uh, keep that in mind. Now, once again, been a few seconds, our fire starter is still going. But now, if I wanted to go ahead and let's say I have my solo stove here, and if I wanted to go ahead for the purpose of this demonstration and move that cotton ball for multi-purpose fire starting, so to speak. I can go ahead, pick it up, bring it over to the solo stove. You can tell it's really still going. And uh, that should work its way down and get all the other very uh, dry uh, tinder that I had going uh, from earlier put into there. So you could tell that was the same cotton ball, started it once, let's say theoretically could have started this fire with it, Brought it over, started a second fire with it, all from just some stuff I had laying in a bag and our very trusty ferro rod. Um, so once again, if you're looking for multiple uh, ways to be able to start a fire, even if something is just a backup, of course, I carry a ton of matches and lighters and everything else. Uh, this is more of a last resort, so to speak, but it's also a, a skill building thing. So I have a lot of fun just going out there. doesn't matter how many matches or lighters I have on me and just going ahead and practicing because then if I really do need that skill, in an emergency situation, it's there. All right, I'm not gonna learn it, you know, on the on the move, so to speak. So I really, really like the way this feels. I like the way that it works. Uh, hopefully this review showed you enough uh, for you to see if it's the right one for you to add uh, to your go bag. So as usual, I will put all the specs in the blog post with weight and dimensions and price. Uh, very inexpensive for what you're getting. Very good quality. I'm uh, impressed with these guys so far and uh, hopefully they'll keep putting out products and I will keep reviewing it. Uh, once again, guys, this is Helder. I hope that you enjoyed this review.